with me here today at the Gauteng pop-up uh, virtual art session, it's none other but uh, Dineo Ramarope. Dineo, Kai. Uh, good thing. Mm, how does it feel like being here and being one of those 28 chosen visual artists to come and display your work here in Gauteng in Newtown today? Uh, I feel grateful, firstly, because this is my first exhibition, like official exhibition, because I've been doing ceramics. I just started doing class, mm. so I really, 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 really feel happy that I was one of the 25 people who were chosen to showcase their work and everything like that. Mm. It's Human Rights Month, you know, and you are into this uh, business of visual art and whatever, and you've got this work. Take me through this work and tell me what is it, what is it termed, what is it all about? Yeah. Uh, firstly here I have a sculptural mountain. Yes. My sculptural mountain is like taking us to the roots of African cultures and everything like that. We usually as African people do the rituals and some of the people they don't understand the reason behind the rituals that we are doing and everything like that. Usually I talk this chase to showcase people, to showcase my work mm. as like I have to make sure that people understand mm. the reason behind everything like African work and everything like that. Mm. So mostly black people will be going to mountains doing rituals, they'll be burning candles, they'll be following some traditional steps or whatever ritual step that they are following. Mm. So black people will be going to the mountains and doing their rituals burning candles, talking to their ancestors. So this is the representation of every, each and every step that they are taking mm. when they are going there. Mm. And they are going there for a certain purpose, mm. which is maybe spiritual mm. thing or something like that. So this mountain is just wrapping up everything in one art. And tell me, uh, how much can this set you back you know, in your pocket? Uh, to be honest, yeah. this can be like 5,000. But now I, I went for like 2.5 okay. because it's a small piece. Yeah. It wasn't complete. This is like half piece of it. Yeah. There's another piece attached to this part. Yes. Yes. And, and this is a paintable. Yes. Basically, this paintable is a glass blowing. Okay. So I had to make wires and then blow the glass inside the wires. Yeah. And then I attached the can. Yeah. I had to cut the cans mm. and then spray them to make the leaf. Mm. Yeah. And how much of time is spent putting this together? Uh, this it took me a month yes. because I had to do wires, mm. but to blow glass it mm. only takes one day okay. and I have to wait for it to cool off. Okay. And for the leaves I had to cut them, but to attach them is just taking like 10 minutes or so. Okay. All right. And this one here? Uh, this one I had to design it first. Mm. The mountain I had to sketch it first. Mm. And like a sketch, it took me like two days or three days mm. to sketch, to come up with the final piece. Mm. And to do the hand building, mm. it's just taking a day. Yeah. But you know, I have to fire the mountain and I have to go through the steps. So let's just say I did like four times firing on this mountain. Mm -hmm. Yes. And for those wanting to hook up with you, you know, in terms of your work and whatever, how do they get hold of you? Uh, they can follow our page. Me and my business partner, we have a Facebook page. It's iCatcher. Uh, I also have my personal page, yes. which is like Dino Ramarope. They can follow me there. Mm. They can follow me in Instagram. It's Buzzy Rope. Mm. And yeah, even on Twitter, it's Dino Ramarope. And Ramar, what are we expecting from you for the rest of 2021? Uh, for the rest of 2021, uh, we're going to do a lot of collaborations and we're also doing interviews for other artists. Like we are showing people like the behind the scenes of other artists work, how they started until to the finish point. Mm. So they can catch us on our uh, YouTube page, mm. which is iCatcher007. Yes, we are showing the videos on how artists they are making their art. And your thank you message to the Department of Sport, Art, Culture and Recreation? Uh, I'd like to thank them a lot for giving us the chance 
to showcase our artwork. It's not easy out there, but they are trying. Thank you for your time, and it's been a pleasure, a pleasure moment having you here and explaining your work.